Hi there, I'm Kira Woods and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of uh, March the 16th to the 22nd. So I hope you're having a wonderful month and fabulous day. So let me, I'm just quickly shuffling the cards. I'm going to select three cards to see what's going to pan out this week. Okay, so the first card that's coming to the top of the pile here is... We've got the Two of Wands, okay, followed by the Two of Cups, okay, so the twos are in play here, and ah, okay, the third card we've drawn, to see if I can straighten these up a bit for you, is the Four of Cups, so we've got two cups, Card, two cup cards and a ones card. Okay, and we've got two twos and of course two twos are four. So okay, so let's just think a little bit about twos. Twos are representing, you know, balance, harmony, duality. You know, when the twos are in play, it, it's you know what it talks about. You know, this this important part that you know life is full of uh, d uh, duality and and how things come together and you know and then four of course is about foundations and things that have been solid you know you think about uh, a four as being a square and a square is a, a solid foundation you know it's, it's that combination of something coming together okay so let's have a look monday uh, sort of the Monday, Tuesday, the first part of the week, um, the, the two of wands. So whenever the wands appear, we, remember we're thinking about our, our energy, we're thinking about our fire, our passion, our sense of things that we get really excited about, what we put our energy into, and how we want to use that and manifest it. So, you know, the wands is that, is that spark of inspiration, and when we have the two of wands in play, we're sort of talking about, okay, we've had, when, when the ace of wands was there, we had a, the, a new beginning, a spark, an idea. We felt inspired about something. We wanted to use our passion and enthusiasm for something. And the twos are sort of saying we're bringing that together now and we're wanting to make a plan. We want to move forward. We want to actually manifest this idea into an actual goal so the two is representing things like planning and uh, progressing something forward um, take your idea or your your passion and and actually turning it into something quite feasible you know something quite um, real and and something that you can actually tangibly manifest and so here if you look at this imagery this uh, of of this um this image here is of someone holding a ball. This is the idea. This is the wisdom. This is the passion um, of of this uh, idea. Uh, and I'm holding on to this wand. I've also got the one behind me, which was sort of representing this, something that I've really planted solid in the ground, that I'm really determined to do this. I'm holding on to my passion and my enthusiasm. And I'm saying, okay, I'm looking forward. And what am I wanting to manifest? And how am I going to do that? And what's my plan? What's my goal? What are the steps I want to take? Am I ready to step outside my comfort zone of the way of what I've been doing? Am I ready to say, okay, it's time for something new? Am I ready to really focus on the long term, the big picture, the future being in the big picture, in the goal, and therefore in the planning and, and the progression towards it? So it's very much sort of saying, okay, I'm not going to be thinking or, or acting in the short term, in the immediate, but I'm looking at my future, I'm looking at the big picture, and I'm really going to put some energy into that. I'm going to embrace all opportunities and situations that allow me to move in that direction of uh, towards my goals and the big picture and sort of having patient and intent and really utilizing my passion to be able to do that okay so as we move into the middle of the week so you might sort of say the energy is sort of coming into play and in, in, in sort of that Wednesday late Tuesday Wednesday um, and it merges so this, the middle of the week energy comes and now merges with the uh, the sort of the energy of Monday Tuesday so we've got the two of cups so now it's saying you know with this you know this passion that I've got I've also got a real determination and I love to bring it about so depending on what your situation is but if it involves wanting to come together in some sort of partnership some sort of contracts something where I'm coming together with others it's a very positive sign so when I see this two of cups it's about our heart it's about our 
our um, how we feel about something from a sense of you know that union and sharing but it's about it's about the we not the I so here is about my, the goals you know your individual goals how you're feeling about it, your passion and, but now it's sort of saying now I want to bring the we into the picture and I want to bring it about with a sense of mut what's mutually beneficial um, the sort of the, the harmony and the partnership knowing that the important part of that is about you know respect and it's about balance remember it's two so it's balance twos are always perfectly balanced and so and and here you could say it's coming together of the head and the heart you could say it's it's the it's masculine and feminine wisdom and knowledge you could say so it's about all those polarities and unions coming together um, but wherever you might find in your situation, if it involves some sort of partnership, whether it be friendship or relationship of some sort, business, um, then it's very, very positive for that in terms of it being um, harmonious and um, having that sort of that mutual sense of commitment and loyalty. You might also find that it indicates maybe some news from afar, so it, it very much could be that your part of your goal moving forward your planning your processes is getting some wisdom and knowledge from afar that could all they're very much there in that sense um, but it's you know around sort of being aware of the importance of assessing your emotional commitments are you ready to you know you've got this passion and this inspiration this creative idea but are you, are you ready to really emotionally commit to it and commit to the we of the situation sort of the meeting of the heart so to speak um, and it's in this card when you have the two of cups here it's not so much about you the self so much here it's sort of saying okay you've done the work on the self now it's about um, understanding uh, thinking of others and thinking of others in the situation because that's where the real gem uh, for this um, event to to really flower and blossom you know and within that thinking of others is you know that sense of kindness and 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 the the love that comes with you know mutual respect and care and, and understanding um, and whether that be a personal relationship if you if your situation is one where you are sort of maybe entering a personal relationship very very positive for that of course but as as it is equally with a great friend or a business partnership um, or coming together with with any other person or even within yourself too particularly since the latter part of the week we've got the four of cups so now when the four of cups comes up you know you look at this card and you think okay you've got someone here sitting there their posture sort of saying they're not real open their arms are folded their legs are folded something's being offered to them and they really mm, don't know whether they want to take it or not you know this can pan out in two ways sometimes it's that We've created a really solid, secure foundation or sort of a, we've got ourselves in a position we feel very um, uh, happy in how things are, but that sense of um, complacency almost can actually be a bit of a trap. So here it, it, the cards are sort of indicating to you just to be mindful that if a new relationship is being offered to you, if a new way of looking at something um, to not just sort of discount it or ignore it. So in this situation, I'm sort of looking at this card that's being offered. Is this, is this two of cups is being offered to the situation? And this card is saying, you know, be mindful of your reasoning for holding back. Now, if you're holding back because you realize that you want to reflect, you're sort of meditating on the situation, you're looking at the big picture then that can be very positive you know the card is sitting there it's like you're acknowledging it perhaps but you are sort of reflecting and considering um, what it means and you know being very thoughtful around that if you are actually finding though you're holding back because you're kind of a little bit like stubborn or you're a little bit like well things are kind of okay the way they are and I don't want to rock the boat um, or is it because I had a really bad relationship in the past and I've been really hurt and I haven't really let go of that so oh gosh I'm not going to try something new you know maybe that new relationship's come into my life as one that reminds me of the old one so I'm going to be a bit stubborn and, and uh, sort of sit back so this card's reminding you to be very thoughtful about what is your intent so what is driving your actions you know is it is it because you you've realized you just need to sit back a little bit and be reflective and meditate on the situation or just sort of be thoughtful and conscious and come from a really a place of knowing brilliant 
if you're finding it's because you've been hurt before and they remind you of that or you've tried a new business before and it didn't work or you know you're just sort of like uh, but I'm really happy with the way things are my relationship's not great and my I don't my business isn't great but hey I get by and that's good enough and I don't want to rock the boat then you're probably going to find that things this card's letting you know that can be a very precarious place to be in and the rug can get pulled out from underneath you it's also reminding you be very thankful for the goodness that you have in your life so sometimes it's like acknowledging that um, the the people we have in our lives the relationships we have not to take them for granted that to be really thankful for them that they that they um, are to be cherished and that it's important to cherish those around us and to sort of that give and receive of our emotional self um, this card can also, the Four of Cups is quite a dynamic card because it also can indicate maybe we're become a bit as a complacent or being stuck a little bit, maybe uh, um, finding we're a bit bored maybe in our current relationships or situations. It could be that we're, uh, we really want to start out on something new, we're feeling really, pa we're sort of impassionate about, about this creative idea but we're afraid to to sort of move forward and so we've become kind of stuck so it's reminding us to be just be really thoughtful about what is behind your actions and your intent at the moment because this can be a very positive card it also can be a card that can bring about many challenges you know, if we get, you know, um, be mindful, in other words, of those sort of defensive or um, it, it, defensiveness in your responses or your reactions type thing. So I hope you find that helpful. I think it's going to be a, another really interesting week of learnings and opportunities. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it, how it plays out in my life. So I wish you all the very best. If you'd like a private reading, please uh, find me on my website at carawoods.com. Now please share my videos and like the video if you enjoyed it, found it useful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you encourage others that you feel might find my channel of use. And um, please leave me any messages, thoughts, comments. Love to hear from you and I wish you an absolutely fantastic week and I look forward to catching up with you next week. Have a great day.